Hey everybody, Brock Peterson, Solution Engineer with VMware. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the VRTVS or VRealize True Visibility Suite Management Pack for Cisco Networking. So log into VRealize Operations, go to Administration, Repository, and up top you'll see all of the native management packs. And then down below you'll see all of the other management packs, including those for VRTVS. To install one, click Add Upgrade. Select Browse, choose the management pack you want, go ahead and click Upload, that'll prepare it for deployment within your vRealize Operations cluster. Once deployed, you will have a tile down below showing all content within that management pack and more. So let's explore the one for Cisco Networking. You'll see I have four accounts configured already, but if we were to look at View Content, we'll see all of the dashboards, content reports, views, alerts, and symptoms therein. Let's go ahead and configure an adapter instance. So choose other accounts, click add account, choose the Cisco networking tile. At this point you'll give it a target. Say you're connecting to a Cisco Nexus 5K. Give it the IP or the FQDN of that 5K. Give it a credential. We support a few different connectivity methods. First is NX API for Nexus, but we also support V2 and V3. Validate connection, and you're off and running. Let's explore the dashboards. Select dashboards, dashboards drop down, Cisco networking, and you'll see several different management packs that we have, including an overview, as well as a switch summary. The switch summary is very useful. It shows all of your switches, things like uptime, CPU utilization, RX, TX data, as well as parent-child relationships, meaning here's the switch I'm looking at, here are all of its children or ports. It's collecting data, it is reachable. Here is CPU, memory, and throughput information, as well as status of various devices, things like fans and power supplies, as well as the performance scoreboard, RX, TX type information. Now, if we want to move beyond our Cisco networking estate into vSphere, we'll leverage the troubleshooting workbench. Troubleshooting workbench is a new construct in vRealize Operations 8.0 allows you to search for any object, be it a vSphere object or a networking switch. In this case, let's look for one of my 2960s. I've selected one of my switches. It shows me events, property changes, and anomalous metric metrics as it relates to that switch. And then I can scope out beyond my target, one, two, three steps beyond. I can click the custom button and I see every object that touches that switch. So here's my new 2960. Here's its L3 interface. Here are all of the Cisco networking ports. These are all of the VMware vSphere VMs up above it. A couple different use cases here. One, of course, is performance capacity type information. Two, if you're uh, doing a firmware upgrade on a switch, you know all the VMs or the hosts that might be affected. All sorts of great information provided within the Cisco networking management pack. I encourage you to download it, deploy it in your environment, and start looking at your data.